Let's start coding. We're going to be doing text-based code with code card. Um, who does not know what coding is? So everybody knows what coding is. Yeah. Good, good. I don't have to do that spiel. But um, coding, for anybody in the great beyond that does not know what it is, it's basic instructions for a computer. We have computers and everything. And we're going to be working with real code, C++ code, um, which is real code that is in your car, it's in your phone, it's in your computer, tells it how to run. So this is code that we have working all the way around us. It's even in your vacuum or your refrigerator. It's there. Um, so today we're just going to look at C++ code. You're going to walk away from this class knowing how to read code and be able to write some simple functions and statements. Um, this is all down to where a fourth grade on up can do it. So don't be intimidated by it. Our fourth graders do well with it. And we're going to be working with code cars. Anybody in the great beyond will be using a virtual code car that I have online. And anybody here will be using a hands-on code card. Shoot. Is it capable? No. These are, these are, I know. But if I you know. invite Amy to do a presentation at Wagner yeah. for your PLC in math, who would you want to talk to? Seriously, let's talk that out in a second. Okay. If a high school PLC wants to have you come in and talk to them, mm -hmm. or even a middle school PLC for that matter, uh, who would you want to talk to? It depends on who is, what, I mean, are they wanting to run a PD? Or are they wanting to run uh, a simulation just to see what it looks like? Or are they wanting to purchase? Or are they wanting, I mean, it, it depends. Because I've talked to librarians a lot, um, principals, and then vice principals, district coordinators, and teachers. So it depends on who gets the idea to bring coding to the school. Right. So at the PLC, at the math PLC, right, mm -hmm. thinks that this is something interesting. They can, yeah, shoot me an email. I'll, I have resources for you all to contact me for anything. Okay. Um, let's start coding. It's local. It's based here with Hero. They're building. I have a distillery in front of my office. So we're down there. There's only three of us in the office, so it's not a big corporation or anything like that. We make everything in-house and we build good relationships with our teachers. If there's an issue, we will go face-to-face -face and help you out. Um, we do work with teachers internationally as well, so we're not just stuck to Louisville, Kentucky. Um, but let's start coding. Come about with designing kits, um, like these two, to where students can learn how to code by using hands-on materials beyond what you've heard about Scratch or what you see gaming on the screen, programming on the screen. It's something they can do in person, on the screen, and then have a result in their hand. Because we want to focus on PBL, project-based learning. They can build something and then learn the concepts from it through the building. So that was the goal with Let's Start Coding. OK, so code. C++ specifically, I mean, I'm sure you've heard of Java, Python, just C sharp. Um, we use C plus and it's spelled out C plus plus, but pronounced C plus plus. And it's instructions for your computer. Code is written by humans. It's not magic. It has rules and it has punctuation. It is a language. And these rules of punctuation, capitalization, we call that syntax. And we're going to learn about how to read the syntax today, too. Um, some states. Their computer science programs have even recognized coding classes as an actual language course. So it's serious rules with capitalization, punctuation, and writing code out. Um, everyone can read and write code. Don't be intimidated by it. Everyone can do it. I've had a four-year-old nephew do it. It's, it's easy. Um, we're going to be working with your code cards. So you can have a tangible result in your hand. You can open them up. Anybody in the great beyond, I will have your virtual code car up in a moment. Okay, I feel like a kid. Thank you. I'm excited about feeling like a kid. Yeah, either. Hey, yeah, they think of it. See how you have your own car. Oh, yeah. This one works. 
Okay. Yes. All right. So you all originally were going to do scratch. Scratch is not real code. It's a nice visualization of code, a visualization of programming, and as you can see, all those blocks in the picture, they can match up like a puzzle. And that's block coding. It's a great start to begin with for getting a visualization of it, but it doesn't have authenticity or power, um, which you are going to be able to do today. Have real code. If you wanted to copy it over into a web page, it will work because it's real, not fake. And also, you, if you wanted to change a result immediately, that can happen. With block coding, you have to go through several steps on building what you want it to do. OK, so Great Beyond users, you will need to use a Firefox or Chrome browser. Uh, if you do not have that, go ahead and download that browser. I have the links up here on the PowerPoint for you. Um, present users, we already got this downloaded, so you don't have to go to letstartcoding.com backslash start. But if you want to put this on your own computer, you can. That's the app for that. So you all will have access to this PowerPoint, I'm sure, up on the module if you need those addresses later. So great beyond users, you'll use Chrome or Firefox to go to www.letstartcoding.com backslash HOC, our code. Make sure you use Chrome or Firefox, otherwise it won't run. And I'm going to exit out of this real quick. Remember this talking car? Another car? I'm going to give people in the Great Beyond just what this page should look like. Here it is, your virtual code car. There is a lesson plan for that. And you will want to go to the Get Started. I will be walking through talking about this code with the code car here in the present. But Great Beyond people, you can go on here and just follow along with me. So. What I need people that are here to do is to open your Let's Start Coding app. Install the app. We've already installed it. Open your Let's Start Coding app. It looks like this little chip guy down here at the bottom. You see on my toolbar. Click on him. All right. What I need to do is click on Lessons at the top. Hmm. Okay. So very good. All right. So anything that you see on here, great beyond people on the Our Code website, this car that you see, they have in their hands at the moment. So you have the virtual car, they have the present car. Um, we are going to be doing the same lesson on the app, so you're not going to miss out on anything. So go ahead and click on Code Car Lessons. Uh, you should be able to on the tab on the next to your X. On the upper right. The green one has a little plus sign. Yeah, I'm on the Windows one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're going to do headlight on, which great beyond people should already be on that lesson. Okay. So with all of our lessons, we have a nice handy toolbar here at the top. Either a build video or a picture showing what this should look like. So first, with plugging in our code cars. You're going to have your I'm going to grab another one. USB cable. And these are very tough. 
We've tested the parts, run them over with the car, so you don't have to be gentle with it. Um, pull out your USB cable, plug that in, and something that we even tell our students all the time, we do stripes to stripes when we plug in our cars. So you'll see that there's stripes next to the USB plug, and then those are those stripes marked on your USB plug. Those should both be facing the same direction, stripes to stripes. Yes, these are brand new, so they are going to be tough. But like I said, you can run over it with a car, and it's not going to break. Good question. Yes. How much does one of these sets run? The code car is 45. And there's a lot more stuff that goes with it. Oh, there's a lot of stuff besides just the car. Well, lesson plans and all that. So, and uh, tax the car project. But we'll get into the details of what. Everything has. Can I just one for my four year old? Yeah. Have one? <laughs> well, I'm just thinking for my own child. Yes. They can. Into yes. Electronics. Um, Letstartcoding.com or we're also on Amazon, but Amazon tax on an extra fee. Okay. Yeah. Right. And, uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. That sleeve will just end up going in the trash so you can keep that sleeve. No, put it in my bag. <laughs> Okay, so the goal of this lesson is to turn the headlight on. That's what we're going to do. All right? We're going to turn the headlight on. Now, the code already works. Our approach is to give students, we have shortcut bars up here so you can click code. You don't jump down your code. Uh, Great right beyond people, you should see the same code on your screen on our code page. Um, I'm going to give you a little tour of what this code editor window is. This is real code, working code. If you copied and pasted it onto a developer web page um, screen, it'll work. So this isn't something, a toy. It's real. <laughs> um, here on the left, when we are coding, real coders, professional coders, novices, we all make mistakes. So I accidentally deleted my code. Oh, I forgot what it was. I can't type it again. We have this handy restore button that will bring you back to the beginning. So if you get too deep into your coding and just want to start over, you can click that restore button. Now, for people, sorry, it sounds exactly like my alarm. <laughs> for uh, people that might need the text larger, all right, we can blow it all the way up to 30 if we want. So here we've got the font. We're doing that, though. Yes. Um, we work with uh, um, Kentucky School for the Blind. Mm -hmm. uh, they come in and test out products for us and give us little pointers on what to change. So um, Here in this little drop down box, sometimes this happens. Sometimes your computer thinks it wants to run the code car on a different port. We call it a COM port. So always make sure that it's on the highest one. This computer is only showing me one, so that's good. Sometimes they'll show like three. My Mac, it shows like five, but you always pick the one at the bottom. That means it works the fastest. And then here to the right, we have upload our code. Now, we're going to read some code, all right, and take it apart. Because we believe on starting out with the real thing and then breaking it down, working backwards to learn about it. So somebody tell me what this program is about. Well, how do you know it's about that? What line? Third one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we know this program is turn on the headlight. This is what it's supposed to do. Uh, it's marked in green. Like I said, there's punctuation syntax. So that means it's called a comment. That is not code. That is actually a comment. Um, so what does somebody think that void setup means? Take a stab at it. Can't be wrong. Maybe in the beginning it said uh, the beginning told it to make specific and you're getting rid of that. Okay. What is what does line six say? We've got void set up on there and we got some green next to it. What does the green say? Alright, that's what it means. Okay, you just read that. Void setup means that the setup section is only gonna run once. Okay, then we have pin mode for output. When I hear output, what do you think of? When someone says, give me some output. It's where it's going to go to. It's where it's going to go to. That's where the action is going to happen. Okay, 
Now, four, take a look at your code cards. We already have them plugged in. Uh, great Beyond people, you can scroll up on your web page to see your virtual code card. Somebody tell me what four, what they think four is, means. It's the number where the headlight is. So a pin is anywhere those numbers are. All right? So I've got 10, 5, 6, 7, 10, 11, 9, 8. Okay? We've got pins. And so my action is going to happen at pin 4, which is my headlight. And my comment says that your headlight LED is output. So that's the setup section of the code ends here on line 9. Um, then we have the next section. Void loop. When I hear loop, what do I think about? Circle. It's going to happen over and over again. All right. So next, I have digital write for high. High beam. High beam. Sure. Power on. All right. High means on. So if high means on, what does low mean? Off. Oh, there we go. So reading void loop, digital write for high. What can you guess or hypothesize that's going to happen? Okay, headlight will come on once. Is it going to stay on or is it going to turn off? It'll stay on. Why? Yeah, it's going to loop. doesn't tell it to turn off. Good. The code, computer reads code line by line. All right. And it will do exactly what you tell it to do. You told it to turn on and never to turn off and won't ever turn off. So let's test it out. Go ahead and click upload your code should get a nice success message. And your headlight is on. OK. So now I've got this code, but I didn't really do anything with it. So let's do something with it. All right. The next section of our lessons we call our walkthrough videos. That's what we just did. I just walked through the code with you, and I wasn't going to make you watch a video. OK. So we just walked through and talked about each line of code, what we think is going to go on. Yes. So the people in the great beyond, mm -hmm. they're not keeping up with us. Yes. They still have the video right below what we just did. Yes. Would, okay. Yes. Thank you. So yeah, I'll hop back over to the great beyond page so you all can see. Uh, here you have a walkthrough video as well. You can click on your videos tab. It'll jump down and you can watch the video and it'll tell you each part of the code that I just did with our people here in class. All right. We already did that, so now we want to get working with the code. So we click on Challenges. Now, when you're working with a novice coder or a fresh coder, you guys don't know what to do with it. Okay, I just showed you real code. Okay, now what? I need to know what to do with it. Uh, so we provide what we call challenges. These are little hints and tips to do something with the code. And this is going to get your creative gears flowing to where you'll start, well, can I make the headlight blink? Or can I make it turn on for five seconds and off for two? So this is where we get our creativity to come in. So our first challenge is try to turn on the brake light of code car. Hint, you will need to change the number in the pin mode in digital write functions. So you can use your short cut bar, click code, and go ahead and try and change to where the headlight, is, I mean, the brake light turns on instead of the headlight. Yesterday. I can't look. Yeah, that's we have the pencils in there. You can prop it up. <laughs> yeah. Does everybody have a brake light on? Yeah. Now, does anybody have an issue with their brake light? Well, it says the car that ran into me. Yeah. Does anybody's brake light look like it needs to re be replaced? Yes. Yes. Okay. Take a look at your code. Do you see any fours still in your code? Yes. Change that. Two. Seven. There you go. Don't forget to hit upload again after you make a change. Now, what that happened. I'm guessing you probably changed the either the first or the second one, of course, but which one did you change originally? Second one. Okay, so what happens there is I'm gonna go ahead and upload my code. Alright, it's still working. 
Okay, like I said, the computer reads the code line by line. So it's like, okay, my action is going to happen at the headlight, but here it's telling me to turn on seven. But that's not where my action is happening, so I'm going to turn it on, but kind of. So your computer is trying to make a decision there. And it decided to turn on both, well, turn on the power on the brake light, even though it wasn't set up for it. So still correct code, but not what you wanted to do. All right. So our first challenge was complete. So we can mark that off. Okay. On the concept, they just went over on what each of the parts of the code editor was, and we just went over that. Syntax. Everything has a rule. We're going to take a look at our syntax and see what we think the different parts are. So, some punctuation pieces. What punctuation pieces do we see that we know? Comma. Comma. Parentheses. That setup of commas and parentheses, my math people, what does that look like? Variables. Yes. We do call those variables and we call those arguments because they do hold an X and a Y action. Um, then we have our semicolons, and those always go after our code commands. So here we have our semicolon, and it goes after this function here. Here I have another one. Now, and what other punctuation do we see? The curly braces, yes. Um, these do a whole entire set of our functions. So uh, the curly braces will go around a void setup. Remember, anything says setup happens once. And then curly braces on void loop. This will continually happen. So that's why my brake light is still on. All right. Then we have our two slashes right here. And those make a comment. Comments are not real code. A good coder always writes down what their code does. So they mark that off by putting two slashes that make a comment, and that tells another coder what that code does. A bad coder doesn't put comments, so because I want to be able to share my code with somebody else. So the goal is to be able to copy and paste it and build something new. That's what coders do. They just build from code available and build something new. So we always write comments with our double slashes. And you can turn anything into a comment by using the two of the slashes. Here it just turned green, and that is no longer code. All right. Mm -hmm. Any questions? Mm -hmm. Moving too fast. Is that automatically in a regular setting? Yes. Okay. Yes. The C++ code, yep, you can put those two slashes, put a comment in. So if you're working on a project, and want to experiment with taking a piece out and putting a different piece in, you can just put your two slashes there to comment it out so you don't have to delete your code and have to retype it again later. You can comment it out and save it. So, so the line at the beginning where it says online, so you turn on the headlight, you should change that. But is that a comment? Yes. I mean, Comments are also marked with the asterisk and slash, but it has to have a beginning and an end. So actually, my favorite is just to use these two slashes. It's quicker to me. It's easier. What you said. You said that most true coders don't comment on what they're. No, writing. they should they comment. Should. Yes. Okay. Yes. They, that way, they're basically telling people, "Hey, this is what my thinking is. This is yes. where this is headed." Yes. Yeah. Like a reflection. Yes. It's like reflection, exactly. And you're describing what you're doing. So I mean, if somebody didn't want to share their work, but they knew what it was, they wouldn't put comments on there. But um, if you're wanting your code to be able to be shared with a group of people, like we work with um, other coders in the UK on building our website, and they need to know what we're doing on our end, so we put comments on everything, and they put comments on theirs. And if we come across a contractor that doesn't do that, we're like, what does this mean? We don't know what this code means. So you always put comments down to describe what you're doing, and it's a practice you should do with your students as well when they're experimenting, have them put their comments in on what they changed. Quick question. Yes. Hackers, they go in and they change. Isn't that what hackers do? They go in and change the code? They can go in and change code, yes. 
cut out code because too. They are white hat hackers and they're black hat hackers. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Next we have gonna over our syntax. We got a quiz. Yes. Quiz I know. All right. So which syntax ends the entire void loop? You can cheat and look up a bug if you need. The entire? I think it's the curly brace. How many people say parentheses? Okay, I've got two people saying curly brace. Yeah. Yay, that's correct. All right. Which syntax ends a single code common command? Yay, all done. All right. So I'm going to check out all my, oh, I do not want to play that video. Check out all my great beyond people. Okay. You all also turned on your brake light. Okay. Let's see. Check on you, Gary. See if you're all right. Okay. All right. So great beyond people, you'll click next lesson. And you have break light blink. You have your own video about loops, and we just discussed what loops were. Code that goes over and over again. Yes. So we are going to go to our next lesson. And we also have break light blink. Right. Amy, why does it start with void? Because like void to me says don't do that. Okay. So or it doesn't make any sense. Or it's I've got after doing this for over a year, I've only had two people ask that you're now the third person. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what void, void setup and void loop, that is the word, the term specifically to describe that function or statement code. But what that means is when you said something out into the void, okay. you're going to have a result come back. So it's going out into the void and something's going to happen. But you're set up after that. So it's setting up what's going to happen in that void. Okay. So that's your void setup. It's like almost metaphysical. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I've had only Girl Scouts people ask that. And then you. <laughs> that's funny because I actually have worked for the Girl Scouts before. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to read this code. We've got our hazard flashers on our car. All right. So what pin are we going to run our hazard flashers on? Seven. So we've got a new syntax term up here. And what is the new term that we see that we haven't seen before? The delay. Delay. When I say delay, what do you think of? It's going to take a certain amount of time. A certain amount of time. Yes. Delay is our wait time. Mm -hmm. And we've got delay 1,000. Uh, 1,000 milliseconds. This is where we go into our mass conversions. So 1,000 milliseconds is going to equal one second. All right. So we have high. We've turned on our brake light before on high. So how long is it going to be on? One millisecond. Or 1,000 milliseconds. 1,000 milliseconds. And then what's going to happen? It's going to go off for how long? One second again. One second again. All right. And is it going to happen once or is it going to happen forever? Yeah, I think it happened once. At once? Forever? It's a loop. Where's the loop? Where's the thing itself? On line 11. Yeah. Oh, sure. Void loop. Yep. Yeah. Is that one have an app on it? Uh, <laughs> I got log in first. No, 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 no. no Don't no, log it. No, no, no. Oh, that one already logged out. I think the one here. You want to bring me back here since I've got. There you go. This one's way out. Go over there. You went to that one. Sorry, y'all. Sorry, y'all. Is that right? I had a neurosurgery this morning. All right. My name is Amy. Can you give me help? Yes. All right. Here we go. How are you? Car. I am here. Yeah, we're not going to scratch. We're doing real stuff. All right. 
doesn't see as a bias for you. Okay. And I'll go up to the I'm going to go through the great beyond. What's happening is we've got a student come in a little bit late. <laughs> so Amy, you're fine. Amy is helping that student get set up. So we're having a little bit of downtime here. Meanwhile, our cars are blinking. Here you go. I'm going to turn my car off. All right, here we go. That's where we're at. All right. So this is going to happen forever. You guys already told me what's going to happen. Break life's going to go on a second, off a second, happen forever, over and over again. So upload your code. So everybody hit upload. Great beyond people. That should look the same on your web page. Success. And you can show off your code cars. They're blinking. They're hazard lights. All right. So our hypothesis was correct of what was happened to our code cars. We already walked through and talked about each part of the code, so we're going to skip the video. Anybody in the great beyond that can hear me, you can watch that video and find out. Challenges? We have three challenges this time. We're building up our skills. All right. So first challenge, comment out the pin mode function by placing two forward slashes in front of it so that it looks like slash slash pin mode 7 output. Make sure you upload the code to see the effect. Okay. What did you tell me about Excel? All right. Now, Great Beyond people, you do have a little bit different challenges on here, but we're working on the same lesson, on the same pins. So if I'm talking about something else, just follow your challenges on your Our Code website. But we're working on the app looks a little bit different. Okay. What was your question, Steve? Got it. Okay. So we've got comment out the pin mode function by placing two forward slashes. What happened? Got dimmer. Why didn't it just go away completely? The code is still there below it. You still have digital right seven high. So you still have it saying turn on and turn off, but you don't have your setup going on. So it's not full power. It's some power. All right. Go ahead and work through the challenges. I'm not going to hold your hand the whole time. If you get stuck on something. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, so that's fine. Where are you at? Yeah, so what happened between the Yeah, so now you want the headlights flash instead of just being on. So we did that before with the tail light. So do that with the headlight. I got you. Oh, snap. I like this. Me? Yeah. I'm kind of just enjoying being part of the Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm leaning game. I got my turn thing on. <laughs> 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 Is it fresh or hazard? I don't know. I guess all of them are going to have to be Okay, what are you telling people to do? 
Now, if you're wanting to do something with the headlight, make sure you change all the numbers to the headlight. Yeah, yeah. That's it. We, we discovered that. 15 towards. Are you changing the middle seconds? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay, Magdalene is definitely longer. All right. So if I wanted to stay on for five seconds and then off for one, what do I need to change my delay underneath high? 5,000, and what do I need to change my delay under low for just the offer one, one second? Just 1,000. What if I want to change it to one and a half seconds? One, five, zero, zero. Yes. <laughs> so, here right. I have to do that. It's <laughs> a nice metric. Yes. Yeah, because... Again, you could say to kids, this is why we have metrics. It is. That is correct. The metrics of time the grand order for having me. Okay. This is cool. I got this. Okay. I wanted to go the other way around so it stays off longer and on for shorter. So, five. Yeah, everybody will see it. If you uh, look at when you're changing the delay to the smallest set where you can see the light barely blink or even blink at all. If you look at it through a recording on your phone or if you were a camcorder, it's going to appear slower. So you can look at it through your phone camera and it actually records much slower than what you see in real time. Shaking a little bit. Yeah. Flicker. That's a, that's a cool idea to take your phone and actually film what you're doing. Yeah, I had to do that for our demo videos. And I was like, yeah, mine, I can't see it flicker anymore at 10. And then, of course, on the recording, you can see it. I'm like, well, I just lied. <laughs> my, my eye can't see it, but I can see it to the, to the camcorder. It's flicker at first. Oh, okay. Okay, there's your habit of life right there. Yeah. All right. What's this is through Heather Light. Um, is anybody still working on the last show? I a hundred and a low a thousand. You got all the challenges? Yeah. So I'm going to throw another challenge at you. Okay. This is for my great beyond people, too. Um, let's see here. Great beyond people, you already did the same things that we did. Flashing the headlight and then also changing the speed, the delays of your blink. So how about let's try and make both the make it like true hazard lights and make the headlights and the tail lights blink at the same time. You want to see the headlights yeah. and the tail lights? Not yet. We're doing another challenge. Okay. I'm spitting out another challenge at you. All right. the headlight and the tail light. Headlight and tail light. Alright. You are going to make both headlight and tail light blink at the same time. I don't know. Just it up. No. Not right. No. Well, the headlight blinking. What if I just copied the entire text and put it down and then put forward and so forth? And that's the same rule that I give with um, suggestions and the lesson plans for teachers and stuff. If your student asks, well, if I put this comma here, will this happen? The correct answer for the teacher to say is, I don't know, try it out. Because we're trying to teach inquiry and for them to hypothesize and test and change their result based on, change their actual results. You can't copy and paste now. Yes, you can. Alright, you're on the Mac side. Alright, so if you're using a Mac and you want to copy some code, highlight the code, and you'll want to hit Command C. Okay? Command 
If you're on Windows or Chromebook, you want to hit Control C. Command P for paste. Command V for paste. Instead of Control, we want to Okay. She said, "Hers turned red on the boy blue line." That's what we call an error. So it's not correct code. So. I'm gonna just make up. I'm gonna make up an error. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna just make up an error, just so I can give you an example. So here I made up an error. So my math people, do I know? Just thinking about simple variables. Yes, two variables. So I can't have a third item in there. there I only want my two variables. So that's what it's telling me here. You scroll down a little bit, it's going to tell you a little hint about what's going on with the error. And it's like, uh, there's something wrong with this line. It, 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 it's not right. So you can only have two variables. Okay. Two arguments. Well, when I cut and paste it, it still has the little X's that underlies voices and choice setup. Well, so are you pasting inside or outside the void loop? I'm outside. So is it ever going to happen if it's never in a setup or a loop? There you go. So, where, okay, so we copied it, pasted it. The void loop was there in the new piece that we put in. So we get rid of the void loop and bring it up so it's sitting there with, with the original void loop, right? It what? So when I first did it, so you basically just you go down one and you input the same thing, yep. but yep. you just put the different. Yep. Okay, so we're going to test Rebecca's hypothesis. So I'm going to copy that and then hit enter. I'm going to paste it. And I'm going to change that, what you said, change it to four. Okay. So let's do my recommendation when you're making changes do one line at a time, upload in between so you can see what type of action you're getting. Okay. Now my lights are dim. Mm -hmm. All right, so what's wrong with that? It's not in my setup, so I'm going to get rid of that comment there. I'm going to copy this line and put it below. And what do I need to do with my seven? Four. All right, so now I have it set up. There we go. Now I've got my taillight flashing, but not my headlight. Yeah. Did I ever tell my headlight to turn off? Yeah. Nope. So there we got them flashing. Now what if I wanted to make them opposite? Yeah. yeah, change the times. Do I need to add in another time or leave the times there? You doing all right? You've got to, okay, so you've got to change the time. So this one's coming on at one second mm -hmm. off. Okay, that's wrong. 1.5 seconds, I come on. Sure. Oh. Try it. I didn't know what I did. Amy, what did I do wrong? Right. I did the... Did you just pick here? But it's still playing voices. Oh, I told you a little bracket thing now about my hair. Yep, that's correct. And it tells you that right there. There's a little bracket thing. Are you going to be playing them or are they just going to? Yeah, they're playing pieces. Yeah, they have No. <laughs> as soon as I call the teacher over, that's what happened. And then I figured it out. Yeah. All right. All right. Now, what do you want us to do? Slow it down? Slow it down. No, she wants you to go front, back, front, back, front, back. Yeah. I don't know why. Okay. That's just the building. So, okay. if I move the line of the delay and put another line of delay in between the digital, 
you can try it. There's another way to do it, too. There's actually two ways to solve it. Mm -hmm. Tell me one. <laughs> I was just going to say, don't tell me two, because then you're going to do Just think about patterns. And co computer code is written line by line. So your mind falls to a tie. Well, I'm 13 to a tie. So you're telling them both to turn on for one second. And then both turn off for one second. So remember, it reads it line by line. So you could do high, low, high, low, or you can add in delays in there. So there's two ways to do it. Some people added in new delays. Some people can add switch it off high, low, high, low. You're right, Steve. There we go. Mine is at a much much lower rate. You're saying you're saying switch off. Switch off is commanded C plus plus. Like that. Here we go. So I'm switching my order. It's going to be on low. Oh. <laughs> it's really blinking fast. It's almost like she's there to things down. Just tries it not being afraid of failure. Tries it home so well. I think part of the problem with kids and like that whole fail that fear of failure is because throughout the entire time that they're you know when you're told you're wrong it's like embarrassing. Yeah, yeah. I get that. I get so that. they're afraid it's embarrassing for us as adults. Yeah. I think it's part of what you're seeing slowly happening that fear is People are helping each other, and nobody's afraid to say what the. I could not have cared. <laughs> David's doing a great job of keeping out of it. She's keeping out of our messes. Yeah. She is the quiet one in the group. Well, look now, Amy. At any point, you were actually, you were actually. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, you pulled the restore out as part of your. It's like a last resort. I've got this all messed up, and said, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, my first step with a student that does that is, all right, let's look at what your errors say. Let's oh, fix one go. error. And when you first fix them one at a time. Because I don't want them to erase their code that they already did. Because okay. they're go working on a wonderful project. You're wanting them to understand where the mistakes are. Yes. So we first look at line by line. All right, let's look at our first error and fix it. And then, okay, upload it, that's fixed. Now let's look at our second error and fix it. So the goal is to read the code line by line. All right, yeah. You already moved on to the next lesson. <laughs> yeah. My husband's a sweet boss there. To turn it off? So if I wanted it to like do this, okay. I continuously do it forever. Mm -hmm. And I wanted it to turn off at some point, so I then go back to the voice setup and put that in again and then turn it off. You can. Okay. Um, How would you do blink, 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 stop? It will repeat it as many times as you want. Do you do that? So if I wanted 
if I wanted it to, that actually goes into some more complicated code that we learn later on where you can set the variables as repeat this so many odd times and then stop. So later in the lessons, students do learn how to do that because we've got um, what we call a dice roll where mm -hmm. students can make their own dice and it will pick a random number and then it will blink out that number that they got and stop. So that's kind of lesson 12, 13, 14 where we can add in our limits. Is they have limits. And then the front is the there is, um, I can show you all a little bit later on what it looks like on the circuit set side, but uh, the code cards just go over the general concepts. Uh, circuits, they go, the circuit kits go a little bit deeper and more um, setting so a limit. It sounds like I'm redefined loop <laughs> because I'm trying to stop it. So, so okay, let me, let me take you back in the teacher mode here. Yes. At what point would we stop and say to kids, let's review, what are the new words that you have to know to be able to do all this? We all kind of know what input means, and we know that void is very metaphysical. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah. So how much of what we've been sitting here doing are very unique terms you can't screw around with, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, oh. If I get the beauty of this is, you're right, Or once you get in and see cause and effect, it really starts to make sense in terms of what the words mean. Before, with the lesson plans, we actually have two lesson plans that students work with before they even touch the cars or the kits. And those lesson plans, one is just getting familiar with the pieces. What is all this? Um, the next lesson plan is just purely looking at syntax. What do the different colors mean? You all can see that there's blue, there's black, red, green, each, and purple. Each color means something different. So that's when we go in, all right, anything that's in black, that's what it is. Don't mess with it. Um, you can't change the text on it. If I change this in all caps right here, code is a language. It's specific to its grammar and punctuation. <laughs> it's going to give me an error because that's not the code command. <coughs> Now, anything in blue and red and green, that's what we can change. Okay, here's another question I have for you. Yes. There are numerous spaces in here. Yes. Okay, does it matter how many spaces oh, there are? Question. No. Okay. We put the spaces in there in between the different groupings just to make it easy to read. But, yeah, you can delete out those spaces and that will still run correctly. Is the color coding built into C++ so that colorblind people will really struggle? It, it is in C++. Um, but a key thing to remember, Steve, is that anything that goes in any words that go in that are variables or the arguments, those are going to be red. Um, any numbers are going to be blue. Um, and then, of course, we, we're going to see void loop, digital write, and delay, just read, analog write, analog, analog write, delay, whatever. We're going to see that more often, and you get comfortable with those being actual code functions and statements. Now, if you open up your code card boxes, so open the box. Now I'm going to try to get them to blink all at the same time. Get out your cards. All these purple cards, those are the functions and statements. These are how they're supposed to be written. You cannot divert from them. And so this is the reference when students like, I want to write any digital right and it's not working. So you tell them, take out your cards. Are you writing it correctly? Check it out. If you're writing digital right, how it's supposed to be. These cards are front and back. 
that tell you what the code does, how to write it, and where it goes, and what goes inside it. That's awesome. So this is their old reference card. Yeah, I just stuck in I stuck in two more lines to have the orange and the yellow one going too. All right, so great beyond people. <laughs> I'm going to hit on the next lesson, so you're at um, finding patterns at the top. Uh, people here in the room, we're going to get to our sirens. <clears throat> we're going to do that a little bit later, yeah. <laughs> okay, hit next lesson. Okay, so this one, Flash Buzz Simons, which I think Doug already dug into. I did that one. Yeah. It's at the bottom of the street. So you want to hit next lesson, um, and we're going to flash our sirens, and the, well, flash our light bar, mm -hmm. and then in the next lesson, we'll add some sound to it. Wait, wait, wait. I Okay, I'm going to see that now. Can you do like just ahead? And then uh -huh. it's not the siren. It's the four lights. Oh, the four lights. Four lights going on? Yeah. I need to know what. Well, then I should have moved on. Yeah, I want to know what. You should be able to add blue and have like that. So this one is like running code. It's going really fast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> see, I got it. To add the tail light, okay. add the tail light, yeah. all four blinking. I got it. Yes, work through the challenges on these. I am going to be quiet for a while. Okay. Oh, which one am I on? Okay. I have alternate siren lines. So the other thing about the clues okay. mm -hmm. is that if you get the wrong answer, it tells you. Red. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I thought I was just like, everything's been green that I thought I was like, huh? Yeah. Okay. So, change the space to the green. Kind of a stopwatch. Well, if it gives you a seizure, then most likely. That does look like a, a real uh, light bar. Um, but the alley lights are usually white. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh my god, what are we going to do? <laughs> 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 I'm going to have to go back and look at that. Yeah, I'm going to have to go back and look at that. Yeah
Continue through your lessons. You can do that. Uh, speaker number is number two. Hint two. Hint two. Yes. Now these uh, girls, you can look up, you can Google Hertz and Music Notes, and you can play songs. You can code in your Hertz, your songs in there. So the Hertz. The Hertz. Yep, they do. Yes, I can pull up. Uh, 
YouTube video of some songs that I've had some of my camp students do. They're very talented. Why is it not doing anything? Don't say that. I'm not just right now. I didn't get any access. Did you hit upload your code? I thought we were going to get it. I'm doing nothing. Okay. You know why? No. The code is read line by line. So what's so high and low? Yes, you're telling us turn on or turn off. You know what? I don't like this. <laughs> now, there's lots of challenges so that if you really absolutely hate a challenge, you can skip it to go to another challenge. Okay, this one I am just not happy with. But I got it. Okay, I'm trying to turn the four lights. It has to turn one on, then another on, then another on, then another on, and then turn it off, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. Did you do that? I'm showing them to be fans. I did it. But you're not going to be the volume. You cannot change the volume. Yeah. I did it. That's all I'm going to get. Oh, okay. I need to do one. Sure. my sixth grade students did. <laughs> and then this kid at a camp actually here uh, last year. Yes. There you go. And then this kid ran two. We have maker boards, um, which we're not working with today. But that's these. He's running two to do a harmony and melody. It's gonna go. <laughs> This is after this. This is day three of working with us. Okay. So, so I got one hour. <laughs> 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 and that was a. No. Totally. The sixth grader can do that. <laughs> like, can't make the light. But it's interesting, like. Um, okay, you guys are really annoying me. We'll stop. Siren. Oh my god. I don't know how I would do this with 30 kids. You get used to it. You turn you tune it out. <laughs> like, can you change the tone? Yeah. yeah. So we're back here done. Make it lower? Yeah. It still sounds annoying. So like we do I, I play the 75. You wanna make it annoying sounds too? No. Just, just hit next lesson. There's another there. Here goes. I'm telling you, it was not making fun. I like the light. I'd rather do it in seizures. Okay. <laughs> so I got it to do this, but it just barely turns the little guy on. Okay. So that means something's up with your setup or in your loop. It's missing. Okay. Does it have a hidden mode? Is that what number nine is? Is the board in your setup? I do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Is your right four in your lip? And why? It's in a loop. When I put it in zero hertz, so it should be like nothing. Uh, not quite. Take out the void loop. Change the only get to what lessons you all are on. Oh, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, how long can I be if I turn into the down? So I've changed the 5,000 and 7,000 to like that is in the 5 and the 7 position. Come on. Oh, I'm not going to do that. So. 
The way it was originally, it was 2350. And it was going to all like crazy. Mm -hmm. Or did. Alright, so what I did was I pulled with this number. I changed it to 5,000. And the, uh, the strobe light, the blue strobe light. Okay, that's because your first variable here, you're telling to go to pin 5, which is uh, this one. That, right. Your speaker is pin 2. So change that 5 to 2. And this is the, the hertz. The hertz, yes. I know. Now, it's staying on forever because you're never telling it to turn off. So you commented out your notes. So I'm going to take these two slices of the Picture him like an eight bit Star Wars. He does, he does. It really does. So there's the challenge. Oh. 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 I bet it's sixth grader. I guess somebody do uh, the Darth Vader March. March, yes. Who's the director on mine? There he is. Hertz <laughs> conversion to no page. You know, and we tell you exactly what the field is. That's definitely a problem this morning. Sorry. That's fine. Hey, no yawning. Oh, we don't have to do it. Yeah. Uh oh. We should definitely be in party mode right now. All right. Speaking of party mode, by the way, there are things to eat out there. So that must be money too. I've heard left today. I was like, I'm not really quite sure how I should feel. Like, should I feel like, yay, yeah, it's the weekend? Or should I feel like, eh? Let's get closer. All the county schools are closed too. Sorry. Old and closed? Huh? Old and closed? Old and closed? Old closed? Yeah, old and closed. They don't close Which is really funny because the superintendent was like, Super, like, yeah. we're not closing. Yeah. And Bar teachers Bar who they were threatening with bombing. Walked out about their guns. We're going to make sure. Yeah, they were, they were telling the teachers that if they walked out or if they sticked out, that they were going to cancel prom. And then they would be responsible for. Sure. So, I mean, but that's, I mean, uh, <laughs> it doesn't do me any. Well, I don't have to chaperone. Shut. Sure. Right. Yeah. And, and, and I'll just say, look, if the admin fault, because they're the ones that said they were going to cancel problems, we sit down. So we just called the because they're not going to be ready to Yeah. Well, if I were an administrator, I would hope that I would realize that everything these people are marshaling. <coughs> right. You're going to mess with it. Because you're an administrator. You turned it off? Uh -huh. So you want to turn it up. Alright. How does this look different? Oh, that's great. She had no loop with nothing in it. What? What? You had a loop with nothing? My loop is empty. I still need my void loop Make there. Make it text Okay. That is. So one. Okay. Okay, hold on. Let me make this larger. Whoa. All right. So here I have my voice set up. Yeah. Anything in the voice setup is going to play once. All right. So I have my action, my output, my tone is going to play 250 hertz for one second, and then no tone for one second. Right. And that's it. Voice setup only plays once. My void loop, it needs to be there, but I don't have anything in it. Sure. And so that's why it only plays one. All right, let's do this. But I can't change it anymore. This is just playing once or over and over. Right. You gotta add the other line, the no tone. Yeah, no tone. You're telling it to play forever. Oh my God. 
I don't know what you're laughing about over there. You gotta listen to it too. <laughs> Not even talking to stupid cars. All right, keep on straight beyond. Go back. Go back. You mean? Go back. Go back. Go my phone is standing. I turned it off. Okay, so this will do a piece of work. They removed me from my other course because they said my last name didn't match. And I was like, well, no shit, because I got married. And so I officially hate it. And I went to turn something in on Tuesday and I couldn't get it to my other course. And it won't let me change my name. Because it's done. So I'm going to email back and say, can you please change my name? Why is that? So it just doesn't happen. Did you do it? Sure. Did it only play once or did you unplug it? I unplugged it. I beat it up. Uh-huh. Sure. Take resources. Now it's easy to restore. Well, it's fine with this email. Put this Where's your note code? What happened to your note code? You didn't copy your note code up there. Copy everything. You want me to copy? Oh, good lord. Okay, let's do this again. Okay. I swear I'm not usually that child. There you go. Today I'm not child. I'm There you go. Just like what? Okay, so how do I take the like sound out if I'm gonna get these? Because <laughs> I have a pool of the light. I think I'll go back. Crap, not if I have to do with certain of those going off the whole time. I'm pretty sure I'll go back crap pretty easy. You get used to it. You really do. I know. I don't have to say something like that. It's not going to be dealing with zero. Look at you, too. No. I'm going to do this. You're used to it. No. Are you making tunes? I had it through my line, so it didn't have to be. I'm going to do it. Break settle. Break settle. Yeah. I'm trying to uh, 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 convert the chart uh, first to music that I found it. I may have taken a lot of music out of your drive before being free to play music. You know? Great beyond people, you can just be moving all along to next lessons if you need. Because <laughs> we're all off. They're, they're all experimenting and exploring around. Yeah. <laughs> it was more fun when I did it on the phone. Yeah. It was more fun when I did it on the phone. You did the buttons? Yeah. I'm having trouble getting 
the button button is fine, but then... You want me to play Mary Had a Little Lamb? That's what I'm working on. Can you play Mary Had a Little Lamb? Yeah, great thing on people, you guys don't have speakers on your virtual code car, so you're only able to mess with the lights and the, the lights and the buttons. What is shaving and a haircut? Shaving a haircut? Shaving a haircut, two bits. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> I don't know. I would. I know that. 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 But I didn't know what it's called. Yeah, it's shaving a haircut. I learn something new every day. Apparently, it's not hard to code for sounds, but um. No. All right. Um, how many did you complete? Oh, These are new I heard somebody mention something about input pull-ups. Yeah. Input pull-ups are specifically for our buttons. Right. It's because it needs an input action from you in order to pull up do something. So that's why you have to oh, press the button. It needs an action from you for your input pull up. So yeah, that's why that one pull up is the action. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Got it. Although I will say mm -hmm. I just covered sound waves with my kids. Mm -hmm. So the different hurts of sound would be interesting for them to try out and practice. Um I have a teacher over at manual that uses these in her physics class. Yeah. How do you get on a Mac to share screen or like screen side outside? Windows you can drag and it'll it over there, but that's okay. I just change the way those fast. Well, <laughs> Actually, this is fast. Oh. oh my gosh, what? Um, <laughs> oh, yay! Yeah, I'm crazy. <laughs> I was like, I've never seen I'm your back your head. Just look. Okay. Okay. <laughs> There we go. So you're going to be up on Twitter. <laughs> okay, so this is like... Hey, is this what you're going to do about me? Sure. I think we can do it. Okay, yeah. So I can copy this. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, no, they're going to the other class. Oh, yeah. I'm going to her. You want it to go three, three four. <laughs> Do what? She can have it out of I can have a what? Yeah. Okay, so quick question. Yes. The if and else. Yes. So say I'm trying to do, like, right now I'm trying to get four and eight. Because right now I've got 11 and 7, but I want to be on the same one. So I'm trying to add 4 and 8. Are they like 2 and 2, right? Yeah. I'm just going to try it. I'm just going to try it. And then if it doesn't work, I'll panic. <laughs> yeah, if you get to if else statement, you're putting in code to allow your computer to make a decision. If I press button 11, these lights will turn on. Else, they don't turn on. Yeah. So you can have as many if else statements strung together as you wanted. Okay, so does it have to go if else? Or can you put you put it in I put in Okay, no, I did, I did a question. Wait, I see what I did. I see what I did on. But you can have multiple else's yes with one if. 
there, I didn't say. So. And then I didn't buy it here, and we'll see if I work. So, this should turn on the voting now. So it turns on this side on it, which leaves out on high for some reason. You put some on early on the line. But either way. Okay. Yep. Okay, I did some wrong. Yeah, we're in the line. Okay. Okay, you can't work like that anymore. It doesn't work like that. So you have to have an if um, in the else statement and then another if else statement. Sure. If you're using two buttons. Yeah. What I'm trying to do. If you have two buttons, that's two ifs. Right. Okay. Uh-oh. No offense to Watts. It's time for it. I'm going to take it. No. No, it's a joke. Because I just put you in the Like, you know what? I think I'm ready to figure this out. Um, all the dumb stuff that I would do. Oh, who's Patrick? That's not what I want. Not what I want. I think it was Patrick. Thank you, Remy. She really did. She was like, thank you. Was she one? No. I think it was like emotional. And so, I feel like she thinks about like, keep my husband from her. Like every time we come over, she cries. Like, it's mostly mine. <laughs> like, if you have a baby and you keep the baby away from me, I'm like, what? That sounds like mine. <laughs> okay. Mm. I don't think that Right after we got married, she was like, a really boyfriend. I knew you better. And it was like, I've been dating for five and a half years. Are you in, lady? Huh? Not my fault, you don't know me. Now work. This one works. But this one does not. Five times over. Because the if then state or if else state is not working. Okay. Oh. What song are you playing? I don't know. I really think it's a lot of good stuff. I don't know where I see it. It's middle city. I'm going to do the stories. I don't know if they're going to do that. They won't do that. It's just a description. They point different things. They say, I don't know if they're going to do that. Okay, good question. Yes. If I put a void loop in for 1.11 and 7, can I put another void loop in under that for 4 and 8? You can try it out. <laughs> you just need one of those. Okay, so then it's just the if then statement goes aside here. Can A. No, you it's on high, but it's not everything. not on high.
Cars, each lesson is an hour, 50 minute lesson. There's definitely more than that. Mm -hmm. Well, we've gone over more than one lesson though, but have only dabbled in each. I wouldn't have a class move on to the next lesson unless they had like loops down and delays down. Yeah. 
did you do my mind logging? So he said, you can't tell. And that way you be able to log in and see where it's going to be. Okay. And I mean, I can go into it. Yeah, but you won't let you create it. Right, it won't let you create anything. And that's why I hate it. Okay. Someone else do that. Okay, you ready? Lighten down. Here we go. I might marry a little while. And I'm just excited that I can make my life go with all my buttons. Yeah. Oh, so you're you're putting a tone to each one of the buttons. I found the hurt and make the game of notes. And uh, yeah, you can add your tone on there. Yeah, it's actually less annoying because it's playing a song versus just like evening. Right, right, exactly. Over and over again. Yeah. You won't be able to cute. Okay. <laughs> so I did that. All right. I don't want to change. Support nine. All that. Uh, you don't have to. You're just playing with it. If you don't have to play it, we set it in level two. So it's it's playing like Mary and a oh, I would you all want to get your copies of your certificates taken care of? Yeah. So you can have something to enter in on your module? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> so all you're going to do, let me step in just a second. Yeah. So what we agreed that we were going to do, because you weren't here today, what we agreed we were going to do is in your PD works, you create a new page called, you know, uh, code card. Yeah. You just copy paste in the picture of those. Oh, okay. That's what she's going to take us through. Okay, great. Okay. Um, you can still keep, keep playing with code card, whatever, but um, since you all are on the Mac side, um, great beyond people, I'm going to show you where to get yours. Okay. You have yours right here. It's at the bottom of each lesson. I finished my hour of code, and I'll open up the certificate. So people here, you need to go to... Your little toolbar at the bottom, you should see a little rocket. Click on that rocket. It's your launch pad. Um, anybody else who wants to open up the Chrome browser? And go to let's start coding.com. Can I flash our page for this page? Where's the first rocket? Your little rocket. Uh, go on your toolbar at the bottom of your home screen of your computer on Mac. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah. Uh, scroll to your right. Uh, oh, rocket. Got it. Rocket. Click your rocket. Yeah. Okay. Click that. Yeah. I click the rocket. All right. You should see two dots at the bottom of that page. Click off the dot on the right. And select a Chrome browser. Google Chrome. Yes. Google Chrome. Okay, um, you'll want to go to letstartcoding.com backslash HOC. So I'll type the address up here for you. Great Beyond people, you are already there. Okay, I have it up there. All right. H O C. Hawk. Um, what I need you to do is click on the get started. Scroll down a little bit. It won't let me in. Let me see. Uh, Steve and I have been having this problem all. Oh, you don't have to be signed in. Just go to www.webseekers.com. Okay. You'll give me. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Okay. Um, click on get started or getting started. Get started, correct. And scroll all the way down to the bottom of your page. Click next lesson. So you have to actually complete a lesson that you to get. Scroll back down to the bottom of the page and it should say, I finished my error code. Right. Click on that and you've got your completion certificate. You can personalize it by putting your name on it. Mm hmm. And then share. Okay. Cool. That shares to Facebook or Twitter. So, what you can do, does everybody know how to screenshot on, on a Mac? You'll want to hit uh, Command, Shift, all at the same time, and 4. Alright? You should have a little cro uh, crosshairs. Okay? Uh, you can drag it over. Oh, oh, gotcha. And you can drag it over your certificate, capture it, and then capture it as a picture. And you can send that picture to yourself. Where does it go after you write it? Pull up your TV works here and go ahead and put it in. It did. Where did it go? We put it in our It went out to the desktop. Mm -hmm. Oh, the desktop. It's more by the default. It goes to the desktop. Just go ahead and pull up TV works, create the page, upload the file to the page. <laughs> Did you, did you do that? Did you do a screenshot? I thought it was the thing. I thought it was the Yep, 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 please. You need what? Ever since Jefferson County switched over, um, when I did all their stuff, none of my passcodes work for anything. And I don't know what it's really frustrating. All right. So we're going to go to Pages and Files, and you land in PB Works. You're going to create a new. I'm going to call mine what? Code Car. I'm going to create the page, and I'm going to go back to my wiki, and then over here under my navigator is that page, code car, and then we're going to insert, or upload, excuse me, upload a file, which is over there on that right hand side too. Is that red? Is that box up there where it says upload files, is that red? What is that color back there? It's red. Red, okay. That must have been the background I picked, it makes it look red. Okay. Desktop. That's what I was afraid. There it is. Uh-huh. You can make it like similar if you just go to edit and drag and drop. You're kidding me. No, I just Oh, that is, that's too slick. In other words, just just drag it from the desktop and throw it in there. Uh -huh. That is too slick. I've got all this running behind me here, but yeah. So did you all hear that in the great beyond? So you can just go out and get your... I so hate... None of my passwords work on anything, not my Google account. Yeah, you can close that app, Steve. I can close this? My email is okay. attached to it from the school. None of it's working. Which is really 
So when you were at, Amy, when you were at the deeper learning of this, have you had people doing? We didn't have code car released then. Oh. Um, it was released for Black Friday. Um, really? We were doing the circuit kit, which oh. she's playing around with more and kind of sort of not really. <laughs> you know, it's like, okay, so the the beauty of this system is, like she's talking about the circuit, the beauty of it is is the cards that come in the kids. You know, you can pretty much sit there and play if you got the patience and play. What I like about this is the immediate feedback yes. that you get when you're when you're working with it. And, it, you know, if you get your folks in the right, you know, main mind frame where you're saying, look, just figure it out. You've got folks. I could sit and do this all day. Doug, you seem to have a a thing. Uh, okay. You you take to this. Is this something uh, you did in the military? No, sir. Wow. Uh, 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 open that app actually again. Which app? So let's start getting out. I <laughs> so now that I've found how to do that, so I might try to play something else. It's here. It's right there. Yeah, I've got it in there. Hotel California or something crazy. Yeah. Or like Stairway Living. Wouldn't that be nuts? It'd be really nuts. Whoa. Nuts? It would be insane. And the time it would take to do that. Yeah, let me get out of your way. These apps. Uh, the Let's Start Coding app is free to download anytime if you want to explore around and look at C++ code. Um, I'm going to show you what a circuit kit lesson looks like. So the code cart came about actually from feedback from our elementary students saying that the circuit kit building was too difficult for them yeah. because of their tiny fingers and yeah. putting things in the right yeah. pin. So it came out with code car which had everything already built into it. So the circuit kit they have light speakers, buttons too, but instead they build them. They just don't play in a minute. They build the pieces together and they still do the code below works the same way. Yeah. Has the same exact code for blinking light, high, low, delay, etc. Um, these lessons are a little bit more in depth. And they do last, they can last from an hour to two hours if you do all the lesson extensions with them. And then um, we also have vocabulary too for keeping our own glossary of C code. And that vocabulary, all that stuff, free for you to access anytime. Um, I'm going to give you a resource page that just has the hour code lesson on it. Uh, web page that's free to access anytime, run through. If you wanted to take your kids to the library or computer lab to run through a lesson, you have an hour. Um, they can do that, get some coding done. Uh, the, we also do, for teachers here that need professional development hours, we do offer a free online CD course in two-hour or four-hour format, and also a free teacher learning kit program. So if you wanted to do the online PD, which we're recognized by KDE as a PD provider, so those hours are legitimate, um, you can use the sign-up on there. We send you a kit for free, also with a free return shipping. You do the online course over the summer. You can say, I want to load it for four months. That's perfectly fine. So we'll wait four months before we start harassing you, and if you don't answer, then we'll harass the principal. Uh, <laughs> but um, free for you to use. We would provide the shipping for you to ship it back to us, and that's it. So free if you wanted to do that. We need hours. Um, then I've got the hour code on there. There's also the teacher resources. We have a programmer's notebook that has code glossary in there. You can steal it anytime. You can copy it. You can look at lesson plans. It's all free to look at. So I have the address on there too for you to look at anything that you want. Um, yeah. So that is code. And great beyond people, you have that PDF document on the Collaborate. So you can access all those free resources anytime as well. Yeah, when you log in to the Collaborate, it should download uh, Amy's PowerPoint that she showed us, and it should download the resource PDF. 
PDF that she just mentioned. If anybody wants to tinker with a circuit kit, I have three extras up here to tinker around with right now, so go car if you want. Yeah, 18 minutes. Please take a wonderful Friday and enjoy it, or get down to Frankfurt and yell and scream. Um, I don't know what, to, I mean, we've got two young ladies sitting over here who's... Yeah, you can unplug it. Yeah, we went over that. They're tough. They're brand new, so they're like, haven't been born in yet. <laughs> if you this was Module 7. If you're done yeah. tinkering around, please uh, put everything back in the box. And we're going to do five and six next week. Won't take us long, trust me. Some of us have already have done it. I don't want to mess today. <laughs> well, your Google Classroom is fine. How about that? My Google Classroom is good. Yes, I like you a lot. Like you a lot. I tried to put as much stuff in there as I could that I felt like was necessary. Okay, so Gary gave you a thumbs up. Amy, yes, you are fabulous. You are, Amy. That was really nice good. Nice and patient. <laughs> For those of us who are um, difficult learners. Mm, I'm trying to do it with a 5 to a 40. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Thank you, though. And how do you, seriously, step back a second. How do you overcome that? I mean, we all sat out here and talked about kids being frustrated, kids want instant gratification, this, that, and the other. You got 40 that you're dealing with? Mm -hmm. Are you all by your lonesome? Yes. Yeah. Jeez. How do you deal with all of that frustration and um, I can't get the light to the come With the younger on. groups, we do a buddy system, and actually they automatically do it whenever they're working through it and stuff. They will pair up and share and stuff. I've noticed that with doing the camps, they always find a buddy to work with. And that cuts out, doesn't cut out a lot of the noise, no, but, it does. but it cuts out a lot of the troubleshooting questions. Yes. Thank you. And um, starting off, you know, so you can't figure it out, ask your buddy first. Because they might have a solution. And they can help work each other through it. But. So next week will be our last uh, class meeting. Um, we'll make sure we do five and six. Like I said, no problems. You will have no problems whatsoever. Uh, and then your final, really all your final is, is just a reflection back on what we've done in the class. I mean, there's no gotcha stuff in the final. You're not going to have to design something. You're not going to have to prove that you could write code, any of that kind of stuff. Let me tell you about that. So, because I had this message already via text today from one of our go-getters out there in the great New York. But she wanted to know, uh, when can I get my grade? And I texted her back, yeah, you didn't post it. I mean, I, I don't even know if you went to it. Thank you so much for the so way the rest of our words. So our last night of class, these are the same for 40 for that kid. Yeah. So where's the Thursday you have your class? We have a Tuesday. Yeah. So normally the way it works, Daddy. Ultimate forms. You can check out mine, actually. Um, so I'm going to put it in the live set. Yeah. I'm not trying to stop the bottom of the and a mixed screen if they wanted to do a little bit. But um, I said biology that teachers use the temperature ground and light sensors and what you got at the project. Um, and then I have the power to remove the, the coast cars. We do have a standard line 
to the bid that are up on the resource page. And they're basically they cover like the NGSS standards for engineering. I'm going to look at those and see if I can find any and if you're having trouble with anything, you know what to do. Yes. Oh, well, okay. Here, I have a print copy out. Actually, very warm. We need to get out of here. It's hot. Do you want to just leave everything here for Monday? Um, no, because that's where some of the stuff is going to. There's going to be a different set on Monday. Okay. Some of them are going to a a trip on um, Saturday. I'm going to be back at the speed school on Saturday. Oh, you work out of speed? Mm -hmm. You work with kids over there? Um, they're wanting me to do a code car session with the parents. Would you like me to fill this out for the, like, high school If you want them, you can fill that out. Okay. Um, yeah. Alright, what do we need to be thinking here about doing? Anything? This one I just have pulled the middle school that's one right now. There's the India thing. Did you, did you go in and create one and put it out and add it in there? Not on that one because I don't know if I should do it for the proposal. Okay. Because I currently want to do that throughout a presentation. I thought maybe there's a chance. Yeah. Okay, I just wondered. Yeah. I didn't know if it would help her. I, mean, I, I, I don't think I think there's one I do. I think I I really think you have something special. Oh yeah. And now I hopefully our judges, yeah. some of who don't really understand what mindfulness and building that in classrooms is, I think John would. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think we'll be fine. There's only I only know of. Three other people really? doing it, but mm. so I, I don't think that that's going to be too much of an issue. Yeah, or it'll. But I think that was. Um, thank you for your help. Jeff Mall, his office is next to Jeff Mall. I want to put one last thought in your head. Okay. Oh, okay. So next yeah. spring, mm -hmm. you'll be around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> No, I get that. I'm sorry. Let's go to Kisty and present it. You know, it could be by Kisty. Kentucky Technology Education Conference. So you go present before the conference. All I do is get up and smile and introduce you. And then I get out of the way and you show off. I got a lot Kisty. Yeah. I mean, this lady probably has a room full of people she has to deal with. They put you in that one room way in the back. Yeah. Over by the pool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Over by the pool. Yes, ma'am. Yep. She stepped on a, uh, a bolt. And uh, it's never healed. Huh. And so that's why the cane. And she had a grandfather who had like an elephant foot container of all these different canes. She's got canes that have swords in them. Well, okay. My great grandfather was an antique gun collector. Yes. So uh, is it like trigger, a there's a trigger that you a button that you press. Uh -huh. and so does it open up and then you put the bullet down? Wow. Okay, I think we're gonna call it an evening. Um, next week we will do five and six together. Uh, if this evening has totally freaked you out. And God help us if the collaborate didn't work. We'll get together somehow over text and I can walk you through what we can do. As you can see, we've been recording. So hopefully it will be here. Uh, Amy Spain, uh, to you, who went in last uh, Thursday's class and reported to me that there's nothing there. You are right. I don't have an answer for that, except that what we did last week was we went through the uh, live text, so everybody understands where their live text are. We went back and revisited PB Works, so we understand how it works. And we kind of gave you a preview of, of Module 5. 
But we're going to do module five and six in class next week. They're simple. Uh, and then we'll do the hat. Okay. I hope you enjoyed. I sure did. I really like